collection so close, it came down to this. Here we go. But wait, how did we get here? Well, you see, in the small town of Crescent Springs, Kentucky, even opposing candidates have some similarities. In the race for city council, Janine Bell Smith. We're sort of like they call the bedroom community. We don't have a lot of issues. And Patrick Hackett. I mean, we're only 10 minutes from downtown. Both admire the community. And when the votes were counted, there was also something else. Both got a call from the Kenton County clerk. She says, we've counted these ballots over and over again, and it's a tide. I'm going, oh, no. I mean, I said, what? You sure? She said, we've counted it a couple times. I was shocked. Patrick and Janine, both writing candidates, each got exactly 79 votes. In Kentucky, there's only one way to make heads or tails of the situation. Flip the coin. And you're going, okay, is there anything else? No, flip the coin. There is what they call the sheriff's coin. To the side, Sheriff Chuck Corzenborn flips a coin that has a star on one side and a seal on the other. Patrick gets a call. Give me the star. Okay, here we go. The star wins, and so does Patrick. But we'll work together. Oh, yeah. And the election is over just that fast. Settled by a game of chance that leaves nothing to chance. And Patrick's next official business, not as dicey, he'll be sworn in in January. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.